We are now in Hungary, a country that, due to its geographic location, has historically had contact with different religious influences. Only recently has the Constitution been modified to declare the role of Christianity as a central element for the preservation of the Hungarian nation. Hungary is a member of the European Union and has a population of about 10 million. Ethnically, Hungary's population is fairly homogenous. The former communist regime merely tolerated different religious faiths, putting them under strict governmental control. After 1989 and the fall of communism, Hungary established a multi-party democracy with freedom of worship. In the last decade, the country has witnessed a fear of uncontrolled immigration. The modification of the Constitution in 2011 gave a special role to Christianity. And as a result, the neutrality of the state towards different faiths has symbolically declined. Only certain religions are officially recognized by the state as established churches, a status issued by the government and parliament. The Catholic community is the largest faith group. However, Hungarian society is becoming increasingly post-Christian because in people's daily lives, religion doesn't play a prominent role anymore. In fact, many citizens only formally belong to their religious community. My family is not religious at all. I was baptized, um, but later I never received any religious education. My key word about the principles of my religion would be love and try to, try to live a way on where I can love, love the God, love people, love myself also. And I think this three relation is the most important for me. Dorka, as many other young Hungarians, has been raised in a family that is not very religious. At the age of 16, she joined the Catholic community led by a personal spiritual inclination. She organizes events to raise awareness on ecological issues and invites people to live in harmony with nature. Faith for me is it's a bit more important than religion or than, than even the church. For example, this place without people, without a community here, it would be only a building. But with people and the religion also with people and with faith, is it makes sense. According to a new law on churches, the government has the right to decide which religious communities it wants to cooperate with and which ones will receive more funds for schools and other activities. In this way, there are connections and a relationship between state and religion, but the state remains dominant. On the government, we have this political party, and it says that we are a Christian nation, and I think it's not good for the minorities who are not Christians, but Hungarians, and it's not good for the Christians. <laughs> because, um, because the Christians, now it has the pledge on themselves that, okay, now they are the people of the government and they, they must put their, their X on the voting to them and I don't know what else. Uh, and it's also not good for the minorities who are not Christian people, but also live in Hungary and they are Hungarians, as they feel separated from it and they, they feel that they must put themselves into this, this frame which is impossible. So religion and my faith wanted to be together, to unite all the people of the country and accept that how they are. The Hungarian Jewish community was decimated during the Holocaust. 
Nowadays, it is one of the smallest communities recognized with the status of established church and has a population of about 100,000 people. Religion for me means the way I live. Every single time when I eat, I'm a Jew. Every single time when I have to do something on, on Shabbat, but I decide not to do because it's Shabbat, I'm a Jew. Every single time when I choose a religious event, instead of, let's say, being with my, my, my non-Jewish friends, uh, I'm a Jew. Without having my religion, most probably I would be a different guy. It provides me, let's say, uh, grid lines for the lives. Benjamin is an engineer and project manager in an important company in the energy industry in Budapest. What was really strange for me when I first met with, uh, with the trace of anti-Semitism, so when the first time they told me that, that uh, it's bad that you are a Jew, and that happened as soon as the beginning of the high school. The Jewish and the Roma minorities had been the main target of the Hungarian extreme right. But following recent immigration, this discrimination has been redirected more towards the Muslim community. Anti-Semitism at Hungary is absolutely present and I would say it infiltrates or impregnates the big part of the society. So you can meet uh, with the prejudices all around, uh, in every, every group, I would say. I always felt that I'm a member or part of a minority, but in the past decades, I would say, I started to feel that it's a wrong thing. So I, I started to feel from the society point of view that I am indeed a member of a minority. It's quite strange for me when someone is asking me if you are Hungarian or a Jew because I'm a Hungarian, so that's the community I belong to as a nation. So, so for me, it was never a question of, of a choice. My, my, my grandparents and the parents of my grandparents lived here and they were fully Hungarian. So there were always people, I guess, who thought that you can be either Jewish or Hungarian, but you cannot be both. But, but meeting this approach in the past 10 or, or 20 years uh, at Hungary as part of the political speech was really shocking for me. When you are talking about Hungary, we are talking about Hungarians. For me, the country is the people who live in the country. When an elected body who should represent the nation, who should represent hung Hungary, who are the people who live there, make these statements, make these narrative, which makes me feel uncomfortable. For me, all of, this, all of this translates to one sentence. You are not Hungarian. Do I want my children to be raised in this country? And it's not because I don't want my children to be Hungarian. I want my children to be Hungarian. It's a question, if the others want my children to be Hungarian. <laughs>